So you figured out that you want to learn how to code and you found out about CX50, which is the best course online to learn. And you found out that you can get a certificate. But the second that you go on EDX and sign up for the course, they ask you to pay a fee. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get around that and how to get your certificate for free. Look, look, look. Take a look over here. This is how people catch fish. Uh, wait a minute. This is the wrong picture. I meant to show you this other picture. Uh, you see what I'm trying to tell you? This is exactly what ADX is doing to us. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Google CS50 and go on the first result here. So this is the Harvard website. To enroll, you have to go to EDX. So just click over here, learn more, EDX. Just click on enroll. Okay, so now you just register for EDX. Create the account. Just skip this. Here's the infamous page that you get to. Just access the course for free. That's where you wanna click skip this okay so at this point you can just take the course watch the lectures do everything via EDX again we're not gonna be paying for anything you just start the course um, right you just watch here the whole lecture and then afterwards look for the problem set when you click over here, it's going to redirect you to a different page that has nothing to do with EDX. You can continue taking the rest of the course via this page without ever having to go back into EDX ever again. Okay, sometimes it will ask you to log into EDX just to confirm your account and to keep track of your score, but you don't need EDX at all. You just go in here, right? Follow all the instructions. It'll tell you specifically what you need to do. You can start from week zero. Just click on the left there, week zero. Watch the lecture after you're done. Over here, it has some additional things. So by additional things, I mean it has all the stuff that is just a repetition of the lecture. And then you have your problem set. You click on that and you follow the instructions on the screen for everything. Install Chrome and then implement your scratch project, whatever. It'll tell you exactly how to submit it, right? You click on it and it tells you exactly what you need to do. It'll ask you to go to this link to log in with your GitHub account. So you need to have a GitHub account. You just go into GitHub, right? And you create for yourself an account. And after you have your account, your logging information, you go back to CS50 here. And you follow the instructions. You go to this link, you authorize CS50, and then you just follow what it says here, and it will submit your assignments via GitHub into the CS50 server, which in some way it's somewhat related to EDX, but you don't really need EDX for anything. And again, you do that for every week. Let's take, I don't know, Python, for example. You watch a lecture right you could watch it twice remember guys if you don't understand the first time just watch the lecture again and after that you have a section practice problems a lab and a problem set so the section here it, ha it just gives you some additional information that you might need in order to complete your homework when you're done watching that you can do some practice problems here okay and once you're done with that, then you can go ahead and do your lab. And so here's the entire lab. It tells you exactly what you need to do. And afterwards, it'll tell you exactly how to submit that. Okay? You just do that for every week. The same for the final project. And once you're done, on the left here, there's a link that says CS50 certificate. You click on that. And it'll print a certificate that has nothing to do with EDX. This is coming directly from David Malin. And it even tells you exactly what this is right here. It'll tell you what you need to do in order to get the certificate. It'll tell you how to get it. And in addition, it'll tell you if you want a verified certificate from EDX, which by the way, 
a verified certificate all it is is the exact same thing except for you've submitted also your driver's license or your passport so they are able to somehow prove your identity that's all it is it's not verified in the sense that someone sat next to you to make sure you knew all the material so you're really paying for something that you're gonna get for free anyways here